Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, SMC, on your favorite channel, A2Z Variety. And we come in with another uh, guide for Black Desert, some tips. And on today's video, it's about trading. Um, now, hey, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. If you like what you see, you mash that like button. And we're just going to get right into it. Yeah, so as I was saying, now trade isn't really important, quote unquote, until you get it to about Artisan 2. Because um, once um, Valencia comes out, there's essentially a way to make uh, hundreds of millions of dollars through trade. Uh, which you know basically making uh you know specific crates if you will through workshops which is a video i'm gonna do at another time this one i just want to uh basically focus on the grind the xp trying to level it up as quick as possible and i've tried a few things and of all the things that i've tried myself i found this to be the most efficient again this isn't about making money right now because either way you do this, you're really not going to make too much money until you get it, you know, your trade level high enough. Um, now, as you can see from the screen already, I've already started this as, you know, as I started recording. So basically what you want to do is, you know, you want to go to a trade vendor. Now, a lot of them are going to have uh, specific quests. Um, that will have you go to other trade managers and sell their items. So you essentially want to grab as many of those as possible. Try to keep it around the same area so you're not running all over different parts of the map. You know, so you can just kind of swing by in one, you know, one fluid motion, if you will. Just kind of stop, 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 you know, kind of in, in, almost in a circle back to your starting point. Because then you can just grab more and rinse and repeat. And uh, so far, the, I, the best spot for me, I would say, would be Velia. Um, that guy has a ton of these quests. Now, I have not tried doing um, the ones that say, you know, s trade 3100 of X product to whatever. I have not tried those just because uh, the amount of time it would take to get to that much, to that many of those items. Because, alright, now, <laughs> the quest itself says, let's say, sell 3,100 silver, you know, worth. But the problem is, is when you sell one and let's say you get 10,000 silver, it doesn't count as 10,000 silver towards that quest, it counts as one. So essentially, you would end up needing to to sell 3100 yeah 3100 pieces of that specific product that's a lot that's a lot of trips that's a lot of time and again i don't know how much experience if you even get that much experience for completing these um some of them i didn't even see the experience icon on the rewards so for me that just seems like an entire just an entire waste of time and leaving this to be the more efficient way. Again, you just go to an NPC trade vendor, um, grab the, in the the specific quest that tell you to go to other vendors. Try, again, try to keep it in the same area, and I believe it has to be a certain distance apart in order for it to count towards your trade skill. Um, only because, you know, as you know, that there's a uh, Logia farm, um, Pinto Farm, you know, and Velia all literally right there. So I guess back in the day, people would literally just do a, a, a triangle or a loop between one of the two, and they would get their, you know, basically maxed out trade in, in, in a very short time. So now you have to kind of, you, you have to bring in a certain distance in order for it to really give you a noticeable XP. Um, actually, pretty soon here, I'm going to show another way that you can kind of pass time doing this because this isn't really a full on AFK uh, grind. You know, you could load your wagon up and you can, you know, set the waypoint and go. But then you're going to get there and not do anything. Just sit there wasting time, 
when you could have either used that time to carry the items on in your backpack itself so you could at least work on your strength and run a loop or your fishing or processing or what have you um, this is something to do when you're either going to be in and out to the point where you're going to be able to look at the screen every so often or like i'm about to do now um, i have a bunch of workers that aren't doing anything so i'm over here trying to mass produce as many you know, fishing boats as possible you know if you've bought in a fishing boat off the you know, central market recently it's more than likely mine you know i've made a ton of money off of this um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to finish this up, you know, get my workers to, to actually be working. And I would have done this with any other worker that I had that wasn't doing anything that could have done something. Because as you can see, this is taking a little bit of time, so that's some time kilt right there. Uh, and again, maybe you, know, you got to go to the bathroom, take a shower, maybe you want to go do dishes, maybe grab something to eat real quick. You know, things of that nature. Because again, this isn't something you want to just AFK do because you could have been doing something else that would have actually been benefiting you the entire time, not just actually, you know, not just for when you get back. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, um, I'm going to get into another video at a future date uh, going into the crates and the benefit of those, especially when you hit Artisan 2. Um, I also have a video coming that is going to be going over the basics of enchanting as well as fail stacks. Uh, again, I'm learning those myself, so these are definitely going to be very basic videos. But hey, if you like what you see, you know, make sure you go check out my other videos. I pre warn you now, the audio in those ones are, aren't the best. I'm still working on it. Uh, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for many more videos to come. And for those of you already here, Man, you know I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Hey, you guys stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Later.